There's the big boiler with the Losh in it. Make a video of this. Wow. Is that a four foot crate? Yeah. Barley? Yeah, you can see the tools up there, that's what makes the steam. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, it has a shitload of tubes. <laughs> Plastic. And then all around the outside of the tube for more water. Wow. So the tubes are connected to the outer jacket, aren't they? Yeah, they're put to the back. It's a big six inch pipe up there that's the Oh. So it, it can do both at ahead. the same time? That is a six inch pipe, isn't it? Wow. Holy shit. How many BTUs does this thing do? A lot. <laughs> now that's something that'll make you feel warm on a cold day right there. Man, that's amazing looking. Gee, this is worth the trip all the way up here just to see that. How many tubes this thing got in it? Probably something like 11 times 7. Whatever that is. You can see some of the fly ash dropping out of the other side. I don't think that ash bucket's big enough. That's true to be a ash worm that's on the fire that's going to come home. Well. Anything like a worm in there that you take it out from my mouth. Oh, an auger system that went all the way out there. Yeah, it used to, used to be an automatic ash auger. Oh, I guess. Well, it was breaking down a little bit. It went back to the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. How many ashes do you got to take out of this thing per week? Used to, we used to put two, lo two loads a week, and now we're down to one load. About eight times a week. Hmm. That's a big giant hopper. Oh, and you got a, like a grain auger to feed it. That used to be an automatic feeder tool, but we've done away with that too. Oh. Here's the business end of it. I didn't realize this was still a big bump crate, basically, right? Wow. Wait for it to bump. Come on, baby. Really cool. Thanks for showing me this. Back up a little bit and get the whole thing in the frame here. That's it. Big international boiler with a four foot Losh Stoker in it. Awesome. <laughs>